Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris O'Connell. Dave Kinchin joins us now with the latest on what coincidentally, Dave, is a national day of remembrance for murder victims. Yeah, it really is. And we're hearing tonight from city officials who say that they are going to be expanding some critical on the ground or boots on the ground violence prevention programs and crisis intervention tactics in the wake of this tragic milestone. Tonight, another episode in Philadelphia's raging gun violence crisis. A 32-year-old woman left in critical condition at Roberts and Henry Avenue as the city approaches 400 murders in 2021 so far, a number as staggering as it is tragic. Change has got to be made, and it got to be made real soon. It's the message from many at this community meeting at King Sessing and 56th in Southwest Philadelphia Saturday afternoon, where through some jazz music. Residents grilled local and state elected officials looking for new ideas that will save lives. My husband was murdered in this community and nobody ever addressed that. My stepson was murdered in this community. Nobody ever addressed that. But I'm not a I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. Phyllis Walker is so driven for change. She said she organized this meeting with money out of her own pocket, spending that makes sense to her. But she questions the city's $155 million pledge in violence prevention spending set in the current budget. The communities are really not going to see any of that money. That's money. Money is going to go to their executive staffs. It's going to go to those organizations that those politicians favor what they created so they can get that trickle down money coming from Washington. Washington or somewhere else. That's why these communities look this way. Police do credit City Hall's group violence intervention program for a breakthrough in this area. We are down 40% in, in gun violence, 40%. But everyone here agrees more needs to be done. It starts at home. I don't care what nobody says, the politicians, the mayor, the police, it starts at home. Mayor Kinney released a statement tonight saying he is heartbroken over the loss of 400 souls to gun violence. He says the next week the city will be announcing community organizations, grassroots organizations that will receive city funding to expand violence prevention programs. The mayor also says while police are doing everything they can, the city needs people to report anything they know to police, 215-686-TIPS, 215-686-TIPS. That's what the mayor says tonight. Back to you. Let's hope people use that number. Dave Kinchin in Center City tonight. Thanks, Dave. And it's